look at some of the trends in the market. And when you're looking at trends, the first thing that you always want to know is where were we before and where are we now? So let's start with tax reform, right? So we're going to start off with a quick video and say, okay, what is really the impact of tax reform both on California and on the U.S.? And I'm going to warn you, this video is a little bit bearish. But this guy, I know him well. I've been listening to him for 13 or 14 years. He's been CEO of Redfin now for 13 years. This is somebody that everyone on this call should listen to. So here we go. Let's watch this two and a half minute video. And this is the CEO of Redfin on CNBC. There is a real concern in high tax states like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, California, etc., that this is going to cause a flight, that people aren't going to be interested in buying property in those states and that values will go down. How much of that is true in your view? Well, we've already seen a mass migration to the center of the country. So even before there was tax reform, you had people leaving California, New York, New, York, New Jersey, all of these coastal cities that have been financial empires, technical empires, are really seeing an exodus where folks are coming to Houston and Dallas and Salt Lake City and Denver and Portland and Seattle. Tax reform is going to accelerate that. And the reason it's happening is because people want to avoid all the taxes they're now going to have to pay under the new plan. So if I own a house in New Jersey, and I know it's not a very specific question, but if I own a home, should I be concerned, and I want to put it on the market in, in two years, should I be concerned that the value is going to go, go down? I don't know that the value will go down that much because there's such an inventory shortage across the United States. We've become this landlord nation where most people are not selling as many houses as they used to. They're holding onto those properties and renting them out. So that's going to counteract what would normally be a larger price drop due to tax reform. So I don't expect a drop. I just don't think you'll see the price gains that we've seen over the past few years in the coastal cities where taxes have been high. But, but, but how does that square with the idea that you're predicting a mass migration? A mass migration. Those were your words. I mean, I see this as, in terms of cash flow, a pinch in the wallet, but in terms of ownership of homes, a kick in the asset. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do think you're a lot of people it. are going to move to the center of the country. That's been happening already, and it's because the coastal cities are so densely populated, prices are so high, so people have been able to move because of telecommuting and technology, and they've been able to move because we can fly as easily as we used to drive. So you're just going to see more people going to Ohio and Michigan and other parts of the country that really were economically dead five or 10 years ago. And what's interesting about that, I think, is it used to be that in California, we owned the future. We felt like everything was happening here first. And now you see that swagger, that confidence in the center of the country. People in Detroit, people in Texas think they own the future. And I think tax reform has really given a boost so, to that argument. So, so will, this you're just be, see will this mass migration be led by, by individuals who decide that they want to move somewhere else? It would seem to me that to have that kind of mass migration, you have to have large employers, big businesses, J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, people on that scale, Amazon. moving, I mean, moving, 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 moving. Amazon is leaving Seattle. All right, and, and, and then Facebook and Google Boston. leave Silicon Valley, right? I mean, or, or repatriate well, large chunks of their workforce. Apple. Silicon Valley is going to leave Silicon Valley. That's already happened. Google employs more engineers outside of Silicon Valley than it does in Silicon Valley. And if Google can't afford Silicon Valley, then no one can. That is the most insanely profitable business in the history of technology businesses. So I think that is a harbinger of things to come. The technology companies, the Wall Street companies, they are chasing the talent. The talent is chasing affordable housing. We are going to see both businesses and people move to places that are more affordable. And it's going to be good for the country. It's going to be so good for the country. You shouldn't have that many people making so much money in just a few cities. It should spread to the rest of the country. It'll depolarize us politically, and it'll balance things out financially. It's going to be great. So a few things that he was talking about that I think are very important because he did this interview a week before I saw an article, and I was a little stunned by that article, by the way. Um, the article is, I, I think it was in the San Jose Mercury News, and basically said, for the first time ever, the Bay Area's total inward migration was less than its outward migration. 
What's happened over the years is, uh, you know, the San Francisco Bay Area loses population. We lose population to Sacramento, to Portland, to Seattle, and also to Texas, uh, a lot of Texan cities, uh, Dallas especially, because of companies moving out. But, in, but, but we still gain population because we have so much inward migration from Canada, from India, from China, and a whole bunch of other places. And so it more than makes up for it. But last month, and you may want to Google this, this is an important document for people that are in the Bay Area to read. For the first time, inward migration was lower than outward migration. So I think things are sort of catching up a little bit with us in the San Francisco Bay Area, and that's a worrisome trend in the long run. In the short run, does it have an impact in 2018? To be honest, I don't think so, and that's really the good news. All right. 